Hello everyone, I'm Alexandra and welcome back to another video here with us where we will be uh, sharing with you some information about our beautiful town of Ayuzungolot. We hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy and uh, staying positive during these very difficult times. For today's video we will be looking into the very first hotel built in Ayuzungolo which goes by the name of Minos Beach Hotel. It all started uh, when the area sparked uh, international awareness during the period of the mid-1950s when French, French film director Jules Dassin chose Ayuzungolo as his location for his famous movie he Who Must Die in 1957. Based on the work of uh, Nikos Kazadzaki's Christ for Crucified. Then in the early uh, 60s, under the mayorship of Russos Kapetanakis, businessmen Eleni Naku and Ilya Sotirkos, who at the time visited the area as friends of film director uh, Nikos Kunduros, proposed the construction of a hotel near the area of Amudi in Ayuzngolos. And at that time, that site was owned by the local authority. When the actual proposal got accepted, it resulted in the establishment of a new company which was called Ayuzngolos Tourism Enterprises, which was founded in 1963, uh, with the involvement of the local government in their initial investment plan of 20% and the construction of Minos Beach Hotel. Now, Minos Beach Hotel was the first deluxe hotel uh, on Crete and the third deluxe hotel in the whole of Greece. Among some many uh, uh, world famous guests, notable mentions must include Walt Disney, the crew of Apollo 13 after their landing on the moon, and famous Greek noblest poet Yorgos Efferis. As you can imagine, such names did spark a lot of awareness and definitely put the town of Ayos and Golos on the international map of uh, holiday destinations. Now, uh, the Hotel of Minos Beach gave Ayus Nicolaos a head start in terms of the tourism industry uh, on Crete. And since its establishment, it has given a warm uh, Greek welcome to countless of visitors from all over the world. During uh, the uh, early uh, 1970s, sorry, uh, the hotel was then bought by entrepreneur Mr. Georgios Mamidakis who at the time was already operating in the region uh, and he was supplying cargo ships that were travelling through the Suez Canal. With the passing of the time, uh, the hotel did remain within the Mamidakis family and is now under the leadership of successor Miss Dina Mamidakis. Its history and its close relationship to art, uh, with art, uh, is one of the things that has made Munoz Beach so unique. Under her guidance, the hotel was then renamed to Minos Beach Art Hotel as it hosts numerous of art installations from the entrance of the hotel uh, through the lobby, the gardens and the ocean bed where uh, one can admire uh, the contemporary art that has been collected throughout the years. The open air museum of Minos Beach at the moment consists of 54 art, uh, art installations by both leading international and local artists. Nowadays uh, the hotel still offers high quality luxury experience. Minos Beach's success gave uh, rise to the establishment to many other luxury hotels in and around the area of Ayuzngolos and you can actually find them available on our website. So um, I think that is everything from us uh, for today's video. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed this one and uh, hopefully you've gained a more insight on how tourism began in uh, Ayuzngolos and uh, the important role that Minos Beach played in the process. So um, once again, thank you for watching. We will see you in our next video and uh, until then, uh, stay safe. Bye!